With West Yorkshire almost going into Tier 3 before the second England-wide COVID-19 lockdown, Councillor Judith Blake reflects on how the city is currently getting on. I just want to say thank you to everyone who, who coped with that, you know, very difficult time when your business is depending on, um, on how you can operate. Um, obviously, you know, the hospitality sector has to order food in and all of those things that um, very, very difficult few days. So an enormous thank you to everyone across Leeds who really stepped up to the plate and, um, and did everything that they had to do. Um, it's fair to say, it, I, think I, I think everyone I've spoken to says it does feel different to the previous lockdown and I think it's partly because schools and all of the educational establishments are continuing to operate. So there is a sense that there, there's a lot of traffic on the roads in the mornings and at, and, and at the evening peak, which obviously was very different to last time. I really hope that the message is getting across that this is a, a major opportunity for us to so everyone to follow the, the basic um, guidelines that have always been there. Could we potentially see the, the mass testing of Liverpool in Leeds down the line? Is that uh, on the cards at all? I think um, the, they're waiting to see how the pilot rolls out in Liverpool and I think there's another one planned for the North East as well. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of conversation about the effectiveness of programmes like that, but it's certainly um, something we've been arguing for. We need much more local control over the testing, making sure that the results come back on time and then really giving the support to help people to self-isolate. What will happen after the lockdown with how, what the situation will be in Leeds um, with the tiering system? We don't know the, the answer to that yet and obviously everyone across the country has been asking what the exit strategy is as we come to the end of the four weeks and of course it's even more complicated in uh, West Yorkshire because technically we didn't actually go into tier three. Um, but we expect, um, unless there's a real reduction in um, the levels of infection, which we're all hoping for, um, that we would be asked by government to go into tier three. I think the, the, the real concern at the moment is um, how our hospitals are going to cope with the level of infection that exists at the moment, but also with the additional win winter pressures that always cause um, cause problems in in hospitals such as ours. We've got a friend who is on her own, so she's joined our family as a bubble. Um, but my son, who has now just recently moved out with his girlfriend, she's a nurse and she's going to be working a 12-hour shift on Christmas Day and a 12-hour shift on Boxing Day. So officially, my son can't join us and he only lives down the road and he's going to be on his own Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Where's the support for that? I think I'm hoping they'll have little rules that will come up which will be a little bit more helpful at Christmas. I, I, I think it's very hard to say. Um, you obviously, everyone tries to read between the lines of what um, the Prime Minister says and what government says but I think the honest answer from me is we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, we, you know, I, th I think a lot will depend on how effective this, um, this, the lockdown, if you can call it that, this time has been, um, whether it's had the desired impact and I think we're just all going to have to be patient, I'm afraid.